Hello and again, welcome to Nobody's Place Steam Sunday. Today we're going to be checking out Rolling Sun. Which the music apparently is playing twice. I had some issues getting the video to capture properly. It was doing some weird stuff and apparently it's also doing the audio twice. So I apologize for that, but that's what we're getting on here. Um, I set the display the right size. I exited the game to start up from scratch, but it just, uh, there, that's not the music, but it just, and it crashed. <laughs> All right, we'll see you back in a bit if I can get this thing running. Okay, we're back, but it went not the right resolution. Apply settings. It's now readjusting all my windows across all my monitors, driving me crazy. I actually want to check out the game instead of just making a video about how I can't play the game. Okay, good. Let's go back to here. Let's go to level one. And we'll see if we can start this. I even forgot what this game is about. And all the stuff trying to get it working. Oh, I don't even have my controller plugged in. I'm not sure if this game uses a controller or not. Okay. Okay. It does use a controller. That's good. Oh, so we picked that stuff up. I can bounce. A to jump. Directional does work. The analog stick is working. And I can jump. So far, that's all I can do. Oh, we should probably pick... Oh, we did pick that up. Good. So we can take ramps or we can jump. Oh, I remember this game. I haven't actually played it. I just remember seeing the preview for it. And it reminded me a lot of a game called Marble Madness. This looks much better. Oh, there was something down here. Let's pick that up. Can we bust through that? Apparently not. Let's go up top. We can't go upstairs, but we can jump. So that's good. Oh. This is the thing I didn't like about Marble Madness is the velocity. I was never good at it. I would always fall. Come on. No, get back up here. Stupid 3D world. Nope. Too much velocity. Okay. And I did get this on sale. I think it was normally $5? Which, based on the graphics alone, I think is worth it. Probably, but I got it for 50 cents. Or 49 cents, actually. So, for that price, I really can't argue. Oh, actually, we'll see. It may not be worth the 50 cents. Okay, we can push that box. Does it do us any good to push it, though? Let's try just to go over this here without uh, that. Aha! Oh, we barely made it, but we made it. Good. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be getting those or not. Okay, our first death. We're picked up by the sun. Is it checkpoint? Are those what I pick up or checkpoints? No, they're not. So where are the checkpoints then? I'm not seeing a definite checkpoint place. Whee! Made that jump. Okay, looks like we've got a bridge. As far as I can tell, we can't look ahead of us. Okay, I don't know. It's, it's coming up. I'm just bouncing like crazy. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Basic platformer uh, glitchy grass there. Uh, Marble Madness type game. For some reason, I can't go up. There we go. It's not going to be down. That's really weird. Okay, across, across, and we're going to fall. Yeah, it took us down. Okay. And we can't change the angle as far as I can tell. Which I find kind of frustrating. We're just going to jump so we don't fall. Okay. Bounce up. Bounce down. I guess it's almost Sonic the Hedgehog-like. Trying to get speed and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog meets Marble Man. That's interesting. Whoa, okay. Changing direction there. Oh, are we stuck? No, we were fine. Oh, we actually, we might, we might be fine. We might make it out of this. We might make it out! I think we're screwed. Yeah, 
we're in, we can make it through there. How far back do we go? Oh, back to the half pipe. Whee! Just gonna have to get over. We don't care about getting the thing because we already got it. No, nope. falling, falling, falling. Thank you. Pick that up. And we'll keep going. Heading down the hill. This is quite pretty, and I like the uh, like the blur effects with the stuff in the background. It's kind of neat. Uh, we're just gonna try bouncing. Okay. Um, can we make this? Maybe this is like Mario 64. I never actually played it, but that little part there reminded me of a thing I saw. I think it was Game Grumps play of 64. Oh! That takes us to our death. How far back? Okay, we start here. That's good. So we go here. We go here. All right. Okay, so yes, yeah, it's platformy. Velocity. Uh, oops, we lost all our momentum there. Platformy. Kind of puzzle solving, but not really, if you ask me. Just more platformy and uh, try and get this going. Oh, gotta jump, double jump. Can I make this jump? Can I make it out of here? Or are we just stuck? Even though it looks like we should be able to get out, can we not get out just based on the rule? Oh, we can! You can kind of cheat the system. Nice. That looks like No Man's Sky stuff right here. Cool. That works. Uh, we're going to make this. Uh, we almost did. Oh, almost had that. Okay. See, I like the angle where it shows you that. If we could change the camera, that'd be cool. But as far as I can tell, there's no way to do it. I'm trying the keyboard here. Now we can just use the keyboard and spacebar to jump. So you can do use keys if need be, and that might give you more. Ah, the bridge move. That's neat. Cool. Ow. Okay, yeah, so the game was a bit hard to get loaded. Again, I had to change the graphics setting every single time. Again, I wanted to show you how it looked from the beginning because it was kind of a cool intro. The kind of just the atmospheric music kind of just brings you right to the game and it's fun. But it just, yeah, it didn't load. I had to keep changing it every time I restarted the game to show you the intro. I kept that doing the would not save the graphics setting. So I'm not sure if I wasn't doing it right or if it's just the game. Uh, like it would go full screen when it wasn't. It was only using a small corner of my screen, but yet it was acting like it was full screen. Um, I do have multiple monitors, so I'm not sure if that threw it off or not. But yeah, that's kind of what it is. But. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing pretty good now. Um, now I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just kind of doing it. Oh! Apparently you can change direction mid-air when you jump like that. That's neat. So it is... I would say this is pretty fun. So if you like this kind of game and you like what you're seeing, um, again, Sonic the Hedgehog meets Marble Madness, um, you may enjoy it. Again, for the $5 it normally is, or $4.99, I don't know if it's worth it if it's your kind of game. For the $0.49 cents I picked it up at when it was on sale, um, it may be well worth it, so definitely check it out. Link is always to be in the description. Again, I paid for the game. It was not purchased for me in this case. And uh, did not uh, get the key for free, so I did pay for this out of my own pocket. I kind of like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to come back to it or not, but for just a nice little atmospheric run around and get semi-rage induced, I, I, I dig it. So let me know what you guys think, what you want to see, any requests you have for other games. And... Uh, one last thing is I'm trying I should have put up an announcement video by now sorry announcement video by now if I haven't already on the uh, extra life charity um, what I am doing is now um, I am picking up like humble, humble humble bundle games games I am paying for not games I'm getting from key mailer but games I've actually you know put down my own money for uh, usually in a package dealer on sale and I have a bunch of keys so if you are going to donate to the Extra Life Charity. Uh, if you go to games, with an S, games.nobodieslp.com, I'll have a list of games I currently have available. And if you uh, donate, most games are $5 or more. Uh, some are 10 I think there was, at the time I'm saying this, there is a Sims 3 package, which has a whole lot of expansion packs and the original game of Sims 3. Uh, that's, I'm asking, $15 donation. Uh, again, you're not buying the game. Um, you're just uh, donating to a good cause, and as a nice thank you, I want to give you the game. Uh, again, you're giving the money to Extra Life. You're not giving it to me. Okay, we apparently ran out of music, so I don't know what that what's that's about. Oh, but my phone decided to make a beep as soon as the music stopped. Um, so, yeah. So let me know. So if you do see a game, 
that you do want as a nice, again, a thank you. You're not purchasing the game for me. You're donating to a good cause. The money is going straight to Extra Life. And just let me know what you donated. It should have your name in the donation or just let me know who you are. And I can get you the key via email. I can get you the key via uh, Twitter direct message. I can send it to you over Discord, whatever works best. Uh, just again, as a nice thank you for uh, uh, donating. Again, it's only while I have games and only the games that are listed. I'm not going to buy you a game. It's just stuff I have as a nice thank you. So think of it as being able to get a game you may want and possibly write it off on your taxes because the money is going to Extra Life. So as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. I'm stuck up here. Later, guys.